you might be consuming tens of thousands of microplastics every year. And these nano and microparticles can be found almost anywhere. This 2018 study showed that these microplastics were found in almost 90% of plastic bottled water, which was done over 9 countries and 19 different brands. Sunne mein thoda exaggerated lagta hoga, but yes, that is the fact. These microplastics can cause just simple nausea, tiredness and fatigue or even lead to very drastic complications like heart attacks and strokes. So to detox your body from microplastics, I'll tell you a few steps. Before we get to the removal of microplastics, you must know that where these microplastics come from. Yes, they can come from bottled plastic water or plastic containers or plastic bags and even from seafood. Microplastics can also come to your body via airborne pollution. And lastly, through your skin by using certain skincare products, these microparticles can enter your bloodstream through your skin. So now, here are some ways to remove microplastics, not just from your body, but from your diet as well. The first is to prioritize a healthy, plastic-free diet. Yes, we used to be talking about sugar-free diet, fat-free diet, but this plastic-free diet is a new term which will be very popular in time to come. Apart from reducing the use of plastic containers, bottles and bags, you also can use these following foods which will help you counteract the inflammation which happens with plastics. Vegetables like broccoli, asparagus and cauliflower will have a very good antioxidant effect. Leafy greens like spinach and cabbage are also very helpful to reduce your inflammation. Along with these, citrus fruits which contain vitamin C also help as an antioxidant and anti-inflammatory. They'll help you flush out the toxins that these plastics have caused to your body. Ginger, turmeric, whether you have it in the food or drinks, will also have very positive beneficial effects. Green tea, which contains polyphenols, is also a very useful anti-inflammatory and antioxidant which one can consume without any fear. Also, if possible, try to opt for organic food which has less exposure to toxins and harmful chemicals. The second thing you can do is transform your cooking space. The majority usage of plastic is in the food that we eat and it is not just the packaged foods but even storage of foods or heating of foods into these containers. With the role of microwave coming up, plastics have been used very popularly but plastics, especially when heated, even if they are microwave proof, can lead to these microplastics entering your food material. So in your cooking, try to minimize the use of plastic, be it those plastic disposable plates, spoons, forks, try to stay away from them. And for microwave users, opt for better ones like glass containers and they will help you reduce your plastic exposure. A shocking study showed that even if you use glass containers but brush them with these plastic sponges, these sponges can eventually come into your food. So try to avoid using such plastic sponges and brushes when you are cleaning your utensils. Third important step you can do is to avoid plastic takeout. With the increase in food delivery apps like Zomato and Swiggy, we have seen that many people eat at home but the containers come from the kitchen of different restaurants to your home. And plastic containers is one of the most common ways in which plastic can enter into your home. So it is not just the processed foods that come in packets but also the food from your favorite restaurant which may be harming you if you eat it in plastic containers. Naturally, these plastic straws spoons and forks also should be avoided. The fourth thing that you can do is avoid these single-use plastic bags. You use these plastic bags for almost anything, whether it is holding your grocery, your fruits, your vegetables. We have a habit of using plastic bags for almost anything. So use either reusable plastic or cloth bags, carry them around wherever you are going, even for shopping, and you will be able to reduce your exposure to plastics there. 
fifth one is to avoid canned food. Yes, even canned food will have plastic containing tops or even lined inside is plastic. We have seen that glass containers or jars have been replaced by plastic bottles for many different companies. But this exposure to plastic often goes unnoticed. So opt for those products who have glass bottles and metal lids. The sixth thing you can do is try a plastic free personal care. Yes, many cosmetics and personal care products also contain plastic. And it's not just those skin creams and scrubs that I'm talking about. A 2022 study showed that almost 50% of toothpastes, yes, toothpastes, can also have some evidence of plastics in them. These toothpastes are those which have microbeads, which are said to give a different feel when you are brushing your teeth. But these microbeads can be a source of these microplastics. So try to stay away from these microbeads. The seventh and probably most important is avoid microplastics in drinking water. Plastic bottles are available almost everywhere, whether we go out onto a tour or travel. And even in functions, we have seen that plastic bottles is the way to go. But all these bottles, no matter which brand, if they are lined with a chemical called as BPA, they can lead to increased risk of microplastics entering your body. You might feel that you are drinking a sports drink, a healthy drink, but apart from the health benefit it gives you, it's those microplastics which may in the long run harm you. So try to use your own glass or steel containers and bottles wherever possible. The last thing that I'll tell you is about using eco-friendly clothing and laundry. Yes, even clothes can lead to plastics in your body. And I'll tell you how. When we use cloth materials like microfiber, these microfibers also have microplastics within them. These residues which are left behind in your washing machine will in turn come to the other clothes that you have been using. And these microfiber particles can find their way into your water through these means. So as research shows that Plastic pollutes not just the environment, but also your body. And an interesting study showed that these plastics, which end up in your arteries, can increase the risk of heart disease, stroke, and leg attacks by almost four times. And in this detailed video, you'll find out how these microplastics can end up damaging your blood vessels.